Senior Cody Core is experienced. Well, you got gray hair. No, you have a gray hair. You got gray hair on your chin. No, I'm 37, though. Okay. I'm serious. I'm 21. I'm serious. When you ain't that old, you just look old. You get a lot of people. You move old. You get a lot of wisdom from old people. But if his time in the SEC has taught him anything, it's the value of hard work. <laughs> Hey, listen, good day, hey, but we weren't totally locked in. The energy was good, but y'all weren't totally locked in. If we want to play like we played last week, we got to get back to practicing like we practiced last week. Come on, let's make it on three. Let me on six. One, two, three. Let's Four, five, six. Family. A native of Auburn, Alabama, senior wide receiver Cody Core is no stranger to big time football. From Auburn, Alabama, and uh, I mess with my teammates a lot when they ask me where I'm from. Uh, they're like, "Where are you from, CC?" And I'm like, "334, Auburn, Alabama, South Side by the Creek." They know me for that, 334 guy. Football's a big deal in Auburn. Uh, I wanted him to play basketball. We worked hard at basketball, and he, he excelled at basketball. And um, football just came natural to him after working with basketball so much. Auburn High School is one of the top schools in, in Alabama. Uh, we compete with a, a lot of good teams, uh, Carver, uh, Oplike, uh, Prattville now. we got a big stadium and good fan base, and it's, it's really live. After two middling seasons in Oxford, Core was poised for a breakout junior year. As he prepared for summer camp, he received life-changing news. His mother Amy had unexpectedly passed away at the youthful age of 37. He was actually in, in summer school, and that night uh, we took my wife Amy to the hospital, and I was hoping for the best, so I wanted everything to stay as normal as possible. And I waited till the last moment because if it was just going to be surgery and she was going to be okay, I wanted Cody to stay at school. And so when I seen that it was going to take a turn for the worse, I called Coach Hurd and and told uh, him to as calmly and the tail coat he needed to make it to Birmingham. When you at a at a funeral for your wife, Cody's mom, and you see practically the whole old Miss football coaching staff show up, you know he's in the in the right place. After the funeral, Coach Free said, the one thing you don't have to worry about is Cody. I will take care of Cody. He said, I give you my word, I will take care of Cody. Hearing that from Coach Freeze, it, it just let me know he was in the right place, the best place for him. My brother's been around me, helped me. And uh, coming here and playing football, it just, it kind of, it doesn't take it off my mind, but it, it lets me know that I have, I have to keep going, I have to keep pushing. After the funeral, Cor would immediately return to practice, having the best summer camp of his career. In the first game of the 2014 season, his results would validate his effort. Pass over the middle, got a man wide open, caught at the five, and in the end zone, scoring the first touchdown of 2014, Cody Core, the junior from Auburn, Alabama. After the first touchdown, I knew it was time to really show the world what, uh, what I've been working hard for. And it's just, I had my brothers next to, next to me, and the coaches had faith in me, and we just kept going. Play action, quick pass, they got a man open, it's core on a seam route, and he's off the race of the 50, the 45, he may go, he may go, 25, 20, down the middle of the field, the five, touchdown, Oh Miss, Cody Core takes it to the house. And they had the game. They had the game. Core went on a tear in 2014 hauling in 41 receptions for 558 yards and six touchdowns, all on the heels of losing his mother. This season, Core is on pace for another big year, and the future looks bright for number 88. He's one of the best guys, one of the best receivers in that room. Uh, just, just, just blew up, man. That's another example of come, overcoming adversity. Didn't blink. He fought with us. He worked with us. 
and uh, he's still working now. So definitely uh, respect Cody Core a lot, and uh, he's a great, great, great guy and a great part of this team. The most important thing is to get his grades and to get a degree. And then from there, we're going to let the rubber meet the road. So like I always tell people, I never pray for a touchdown. I never pray for a 100-yard game. I pray for health and strength, and the rest will take care of itself.